Bonjour et bienvenue. Je suis Joseph Hoffman. Aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre une chanson française. Parlez-vous aussi le français? Oui? Bien. If you can't understand what I'm saying, it's because today I'm speaking in French. What other languages can you speak in? If you like, you can let me know what languages you can speak by leaving me a comment below. Well, today, as you might have guessed, we're learning how to play a traditional folk song from France, Au Claire de la Lune. Let's learn how to speak the French words of this song. Try and repeat after me. Au Claire de la Lune. That means by the light of the moon. Mon ami Pierrot. Your turn. That means my friend Pierrot. It's a name like Peter. Now, try to say this, prête-moi ta plume. That means lend me your pen. Pour écrire un mot. That means to write a note. Pour écrire un mot. The next line, try to say this, ma chandelle est morte. That means my candle has gone out. Je n'ai plus de feu. I don't have any fire or light. Next line is, Ouvre-moi ta porte. Open your door. Pour l'amour de Dieu. For goodness sakes. Now, it's kind of a silly song, so don't try to understand the words too carefully. Now let's listen to what this folk song sounds like when it's sung. Au clair de la lune, mon ami Pierrot, prête-moi ta plume pour écrire un mot. Ma chantelle est morte, je n'ai plus de feu. Ouvre-moi ta porte pour l'amour de Dieu. Before we look at the score to Eau Claire de la Lune, can you help me dictate the rhythm of just the first phrase? Okay, I'll sing the first phrase without words, and you see if you can figure out the rhythm for each beat. Ba, 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 ba. What did you hear in rhythm words? Try to draw that using your own rhythm cards at home. Here's the correct answer. We had t t t t ta ta. Good. Now let's figure out the next phrase. Ba, 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 ba. What did you hear in rhythm words? Here it is again. Ba, 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 ba. See if you can draw that on your own heartbeats. Here's the correct answer. We have T, 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 two. That half note takes up two beats at the end. Now, can you point to each beat and say the rhythm words with me? Go. T, 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 ta, ta. T, 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 two. Great. Now, let's try to dictate the melody of the first phrase of Eau Claire de la Lune. Once again, if you have these materials from our website, you can try doing this yourself at home with your melodic dictation staff. First, let's establish where Do is. This song will be in the A flat major pentascale. So Do is right here. Do. Can you sing Do, Re, Mi with me starting on A flat? Ready, go. Do, Re, Mi. Now on this phrase, it only uses those three notes. Ba, ba, ba. Do, Re, Mi are all we'll have. So that's my clue to you. Now, I'll sing part of it and then see if you can sing it to me in solfege. Here's the first five notes. 
Ba, 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 ba. Can you sing that to me in solfege? Let's try it one more time. Ba, 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 ba. Now sing that in solfege. Now let's try to draw it on our staff. The correct answer is do, 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 re, mi. And since do is an A flat, I'll actually put this flat sign in front of A to make it A flat. And then we need a flat in front of the B as well. So now we have do, 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 re, mi. Now I'll add one new note and see if you can figure out what the next note does. Ba, 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 ba. Can you figure out the solfege of this next sixth note? Here it is again. Ba, 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 ba. If you said re, you're correct. It steps back down. So we have do, 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 re, mi, re. Now here are the next two notes. Ba, 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 ba. What would those next two notes be in solfege? If you said do, mi, you're correct. Now, here are the last three notes of this phrase. Ba, ba, ba. What did you hear in solfege? Here it is again. Ba, ba, ba. The correct answer is re, re. Almost out of room. Do. Let's scoot these over. Good. So now we have do, mi, re, re, do. Let's try to sing the whole thing in solfege, starting right here on do. Can you point with me and sing the solfege? Ready, go. Do, 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 re, mi, re, do, mi, re, re, do. Good job. Now let's try to play the melody of Eau Claire de la Lune in the right hand. First, go ahead and place your right hand in the A-flat major pentascale. Now, let's play and sing the solfege stepping up. Starting on Do, ready, go. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Good. And as we've already mentioned, we only need Do, Re, and Mi for this first phrase. Now, I have a challenge for you. Instead of showing you how to play this, I want you to figure it out for yourself. Press pause and use your own sheet music, which you can download from our website, or just look at the notes on your screen and see if you can play this entire line with no missed notes. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Just keep trying it slowly and carefully until you get it right. Once you have the whole line correct with no missed notes, press play again to keep learning. All right, if you played it correctly, it would have sounded like this. Is that what it sounded like when you played it? If yes, that's great. If not, then press pause again and practice some more until you get it. Now it's time to take a look at the form of Eau Claire de la Lune. We've already learned line one here. What can you tell me about line two? If you look carefully at the notes, you'll see each note is identical to what we had in line one. So let's call line one A, and line two we'll also call A, since it's an exact repeat. Now, what can you tell me about line three? That's right, the notes here are different, so we'll call this line B. And what about this final phrase? 
That's right, this phrase matches A. So the form of Eau Claire de la Lune is A, A, B, A. Well, since we already know how to play A, let's take a look at this B section. Can you tell me what note we start on here? Tell me its letter name. If you said B flat, you're correct. But now let's take a look at the finger number. Remember, a number over or under a note head tells you which finger to use on that note. But if we're in the A flat major pentascale, we would normally play a B flat with a finger two. Here it's saying a finger five. That tells us we're going to have to shift our hand position starting right here in the B section. So when you finish line two, and before you get to line three, you're going to shift your hand down. Let's come to the piano keys to see how we'll put finger five on B flat. So we begin the song in the A flat major pentascale, which looks like this. Then when we go to the B section or line three, we've got to move our finger five to B flat. And that places us in the E flat major pentascale. I know it's going to be the E flat major pentascale because if you look later on in line three or the B section, you'll see we need an A flat and an E flat. Otherwise, I wouldn't know for sure where to put my other fingers, but if you look ahead, you'll see that it's going to be this position. So let's practice that shift. Can you place your right hand in the A flat major pentascale? This is where you'll be for lines one and two. Then on line three, shift down to the E flat major pentascale. Try the shift. Good, now back again to A flat major. We have black, black, white, black, black, and then shift down to E flat major. Black, white, white, black, black. Good, now let's take a look at the notes of line three. Okay, let's go through the rest of these notes and see what's happening. So we start on B flat, and then can you tell me how the notes move? What's happening in this measure? That's right, the notes all repeat, four B flats. Remember, even though you don't see the flat here, the flat's alive all the way through the measure to the bar line. Now, what note do you see here and here? If you said F, you're correct. We skip down a fourth from B flat down to F, F, then it goes back to the B flat, and then can you tell me how these notes are moving? That's right, they're stepping down through the E flat major pentascale. Let's try it on the piano. All right, remember for line three, we need to be in the E flat major pentascale. So go ahead and cover that up with me. And let's play and name each note, starting on E flat. Ready, go. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. Remember the pattern is black, white, white, black, black. Good, now that we're in that position, let's try to play line three. I'll do it first and then you echo it back. We start off with ma chandelle et morte. Your turn. Good, now we step down through each note of the pentascale. Je n'ai plus de feu. Your turn. Good. Now press pause to practice the entire line by yourself. Press play when you're ready to go on. Now I'm going to demonstrate the entire song, Eau Claire de la Lune, from the beginning to the end. You're welcome to try playing along with me if you feel ready, or you can just listen. It's up to you. One, two, ready, go. Au clair de la lune, mon ami Pierrot, prête-moi ta plume pour écrire un mot. Ma chandelle est morte, je n'ai plus de feu. Ouvre-moi ta porte pour l'amour. As my high school French teacher used to say, bon travail mes petits pois, that means great work my little peas. 
You know, like little green peas? Yeah, she called us peas. She meant it in a nice way because she thought peas were cute. Well, I hope you enjoy playing and singing Eau Claire de la Lune. Now you speak a little Francais. Hey, let's learn two more phrases today. Thank you is merci. Now you try. Merci. Good. And see you next time is à la prochaine. Can you say that? À la prochaine. Good. Alors, merci et à la prochaine. Au revoir. Au clair de la lune, <rire> mon ami Pierrot, <rire> prête-moi ta plume. <rire> Quoi? Huh? Uh, who are you? Moi? I am le chef français, the French chef. And who are you? Well, I'm just chef. I guess the American chef. Ah, le chef américain. Then you must be my cousin. <gasps> cousin. Oh, why? We haven't seen each other since we were the little peas. Uh, you mean petit pois? Oh, you speak the French? Uh, yes. Oui. Oh, très bien, très bien. Come, cousin, we must go cook something together and remember the old times. Yeah, like that time you squirted glue in Grandma's cake batter. Oh, yes, I thought it was frosting. It was a rather sticky cake. <laughs>